It's Tim Albright with AV Nation at CDA 2017 in the Access Network booth with Bryce Nordstrand. How are you, Bum? I'm, I'm great. Good. First Excellent. day of the show? Yeah, it's been you know stellar. There's been a ton of people here. We've been real busy. It's been great. Good. Yeah. Uh, you guys are doing a couple different things uh, in, in the booth and obviously in, in the business. Um, the first is practical, I guess, and that's your, your new enclosures right. uh, for wireless units. Yes. So talk about those for a second, why they're, why they're important. Right, so I mean, one of the biggest issues in the industry is with access points for Wi-Fi is trying to figure out where you're gonna put that thing. Uh, it ends up a lot of times on top of a cabinet in the closet or you know somewhere where somebody can disconnect it, move it, um, inadvertently disconnect it, that happens all the time. So what we wanna do is give uh, integrators the option to put it in the right place and keep it from being messed with, right? So if, if it's an enclosure in the ceiling, much like a speaker goes in the ceiling, with a removable cover, it wire comes in the back side, mounts up in there, uh, protects the access point, keeps people from disconnecting it, puts it in the in the best possible place, right? So uh, it, it's placement too. It's, that's one of the benefits of it as well. Well, the other thing uh, is you can see the, the, the back side, you guys have it offset a little bit. So you can have access to the RJ45 Disconnect yeah. it, service it. Yeah, there's RJ45 uh, Keystone knockouts on the box itself, so you can plug in an RJ45 modular jack on the on the back of the box and then punch down the cable so that you can uh, also then have a, uh, a jumper inside the box that disconnects it and um, so you can service it, right? So it, it easily clicks into a Keystone type mount like you would on a single gang box. It's the yeah. same kind of pattern and you just unclick, click back in and real easily serviceable. You can see the lights on it, which makes it easy. And then aesthetic wise, it's got a cover that goes over it and we've got round and square so they can have both options. Uh, so if they have everything round, they can put the round cover. If they have all the small aperture square lights and stuff like that, we can do that. The cover's paintable yeah. as well. So, oh, very cool. Yeah. Uh, speaking of wireless, you guys are also, um, you have your own branded wireless, right? It's, it's, it's Ruckus Wireless, but it's Access Network branded. Correct. Why that move? So one of the big pushback we got from the dealer base, from integrators in general, was you know Ruckus is great, performance is awesome. It's one of the best performing Wi-Fi solutions in the world, uh, just with their patented technologies. And part of the uh, the problem with Ruckus is it's enterprise, so you can see it pretty much anywhere. You can go to distributors, you can go online, you can do all these things, and that's been always a, a problem, right? Yeah. And it's and it's it's not just us. There's other products in the industry that have that same problem. So what we, what we did with Ruckus is we said, look, you know, if, if, if we really want to have an impact in the market, and we really want to have a, a product that is specific for this market, then we need to uh, insulate the dealers from the Ruckus mainstream and create a really CI channel focused brand. And we, we are known as the Ruckus distributors in this channel. And so we went to them and said, what can we do? And they said, well, let's do this. Let's, let's create Ruckus product but and branding yeah. you know we're not it's, we're not trying to disguise any of that it's yeah. all good we want to keep make sure that people understand that it is ruckus products so we can keep all of their trademark technologies like the beam flex and beam flex plus and all of those things none of that's going away what we're saying is here's a different SKU. here's a different service level because you're going to get service from access networks not from ruckus uh, here's a different support system uh, a, a simplified purchasing process instead of doing all these modular licenses and everything we're trying to make it as simple as possible Really, really focus in on the integration channel and, and give them protection from, from online price shopping. Yeah. That and, and that's huge for these guys, and we understand that. And we're not going to put our branded product out in any other market. It's, it's CI specific. Yeah. So, so far, the, uh, the reaction has been great. We're focusing in on four access points and a wireless controller, and those four access points will have different versions. They'll have um, a, uh, an unleashed version, which Anybody who knows Ruckus knows about Unleash. They'll have a cloud version, and then they'll have the kind that works with a wireless controller. Okay. So a lot of, it's really four models, but you know, 12 SKUs. Okay. So yeah, Makes sense. great. And then, and then you're also kind of, not doubling down, but, but getting deeper in with Ruckus, and your switches are now, um, some of them are, are, are moving over from Cisco to, to Ruckus switches. Yeah, so we've been known as, on the switch side, on our custom systems that we've been doing for 10 plus years, we've been known as a Cisco house. Uh, we've always, you know, we use Ruckus Wireless, Cisco Wired product, and that's the way it's always been. And we're still going to be using Cisco on the firewall router side, but um, Ruckus has released a brand new line of switches called ICX, the 7150 line, and they have some key features that we feel are great for this industry. Uh, one of those being uh, the ability to go from a layer two or flat network to a multiple VLAN network without a hardware change. Oh, wow. So that, in the Cisco world, 
is uh, is unheard of. You have to go from a 2960 catalyst to a 35 whatever catalyst in order to get there. It's a very expensive proposition. So with with ICX, you can do that with the same piece of hardware. And it's just in, it's in the software. It's, it's in the software and, and licensing. Wow. is what it's in. So the hardware itself remains the same. So if we send out a flat network and we need to go to multiple VLANs, we don't have to send out any additional gear. And and being that we do um, layer three or multiple VLAN in the correct way, meaning that we do it at the switch level, not router on a stick like some of the other brands that are available, um, we're still maintaining our enterprise grade performance. If, if I'm a, a dealer and I, I say, you know what, let, let's do a two layer, I get out in the field and I realize, oh my gosh, I need a VLAN or multiple VLAN. Is that something that they can do, or is that something that they have to So in those with? systems, what we're calling core two and core three, we are still managing those systems. We are still providing a plug and play solution. So um, they will have access to that system, but it's really something when you start going into layer three, multiple VLAN on a, on a core switch, you really want to have a, somebody who's certified and understands all that do that. So that's something you guys... That's something that we're going to do. You remote in or do you fly somebody remote out? Remote in. Okay. Remote, it's all done remote. Very good. All yeah. right. You mentioned the core two and core three. Right. Explain this for a second if you are sure. familiar with it. So we looked at our, our, our legacy systems, Foundation and Unity, and Foundation and Unity systems were kind of pre-configured, meaning they plug and play, which all of these are going to be as well, but they also included this certain access point or that certain switch. And, and we looked at that and said, we really need to figure out how we can streamline the purchasing process, the design process, kind of modularize everything. So what we went to is core two and core three. Core two is basically flat network, core three is multiple VLAN, that's the, okay. the differentiation between. So layer two, layer three, if you're in the networking world. And they all include basic uh, hardware. So they're, they're what we call the core, it's your router firewall, wireless controller, monitoring device with service for one year, and either a 12, a 24, or a 48 port switch as the primary switch in that system. Then they select their access points. So if you're looking at an online purchase process, you would say, okay, here's my core, I just picked my core. Okay, now I'm gonna go select my five access points, select maybe some additional switching, because I need more ports, yeah. push, send, and purchase. Interesting. So it, that's the whole premise behind it, is being able to take that very simple process and expand on it, and go as, as big a system as they want to do, and we are still going to do our standard design process that we're known for, design review. Every system's going to go through a review process before it's shipped and configured, so there's we're not stepping back from any of those kind of overseeing things that we do, because uh, we want to make sure that the system's shipped correctly, so you can't order you know 40 access points and 20 switches, and we're not going to look at it and then blindly ship the stuff out. Right? This doesn't look right. Yeah, <laughs> so we're, we're still doing all of those things, uh, but we're just kind of doing a little bit more behind the scenes, okay. and we'll obviously still offer our full design services up front. Well, and you're also making it easier for the dealers who, you know, whether it's, you know, the access network branded, you know, Ruckus Wireless, or it, it, it's this stuff here, you're making it easier for the dealers to, to get their job done in an efficient manner. Right, right. I mean, so everybody's dealing with the Amazon economy, right? Yeah. Trying to, how do I make this a simpler process? How do I get there from point A to point B faster? And that's what this is all about. It's, it's the future of what we're what we're moving towards. It's going to be an online process. It's going to be everything's entered online. We're going that direction. But this is the start of that. This is the core of, of that of that process. So core two and core three is where we start. All right, very good, Bryce. If, if somebody's here at the show, how do they uh, how do they find you? We're in booth forty twenty nine. Uh, we're on the main drag. So if you walk down the main aisle, we're going to walk right. right by us at some point. Yeah, absolutely. So, and if, if they're not here at the show, how do they get in touch with you guys? Best thing to do is email us at sales at accessca.com. And, website, uh, we'll access, accessca.com. Accessca is in California.com. All right, good. Bryce from, uh, from Access Networks. My name is Tim Albright. For more information about us, you can find us at avnation.tv.